Welcome to this Adarin screencast. Today we're going to again look at the partner search system, but this time we're going to look at the more advanced tools for defining a search area. So we're going to look at the grid reference tool, the predefined polygons, and also the shapefile tool. So let's take the grid reference tool first of all. This is very straightforward to use. Uh, you'll see the grid reference form field there on the right hand side. All you need to do is uh, type in a grid reference. So I've got one here, SO2242. If you want to, you can then press the plot button. This is optional. You don't have to. You can just run the search. But if you press plot, you'll then see if you scroll down to the map that your grid reference has been plotted on the map. So you can double check the area is all correct before running the search. Let's move on to the predefined polygons now. So if we move to the search area advanced tab, you'll see a number of groupings here of predefined polygons. Very simple to use, so if you simply uh, access a drop down there, select one of the one of the predefined polygons, so if we take VC42 uh, Bracknockshire, again, if you look down to the map here, you'll see that polygon has now been plotted on the map and you're able to run the search. It's worth pointing out that with very large polygons such as these predefined ones, so you've got the vice counties there, you've also got the uh, Welsh Unitary Authorities and you've uh, then also got the uh, LRCs defined there. With all of these polygons, because they're very large, we don't allow searching for all species within these polygons. So this is made clear in this little box here. You'll see there it says you can only run searches over this large area for a single species and you can do that using the the subsequent tabs which we'll come to in a later video. Finally let's deal with the shapefile box here as well. Now the shapefile system here allows you to upload a valid shapefile, select it and then select a geometry from that shapefile and search against it. So let's show you first of all how to upload a shapefile. So you can either do so by clicking on the plus sign here that's the easiest way of doing it or if you want to you can go to tools and you can go to file manager and you can do the upload there so you need to upload the shapefile first and then go back to the partner search page to access it so to upload a shapefile we can click on the upload button here and we can drag and drop some files in so if I just turn this back into a window move it across to one side I have some shapefiles here that I prepared earlier so we'll choose a few of these we'll upload them and then we'll search against them so Let's have a look here. We've got uh, VC42 Rivers. This is a, a polyline shapefile. So I've got all the components there. I'm going to drag and drop them across. We'll let them upload just for a moment. OK, that's all done. If we click on Close, we'll see all the elements of the shapefile here. If I just refresh this page, it will realize that's a single shapefile. We'll combine it and show it there as a single shapefile with the icon showing it's a, a polyline file. Let's choose a couple more just to illustrate the other types of shapefiles. So again, we'll click on Upload. We've got here, there's a shapefile here called BBNP Places. So let's upload that one. Drag that across. That's done. And finally, we'll upload, we've got quite a large one here, triple SIs. So let's select that one. That'll be a good one to search against. So again, we'll click on Upload, go back to here, and we'll drag and drop those files in. This may take a few moments. OK, that's all uploaded. So let's click on Close. I'll refresh the page again. And we'll see there now we have our three shapefiles, a polyline, a point, and a polygon shapefile. Let's maximize this window again. And let's now see if we can search against those files. So we'll go back to Partner, Data Search, move to the Advanced tab, and under Shapefiles here, we now have those shapefiles that we've just uploaded. So let's take the BBMP Places one first as a point shapefile. The shapefile is analyzed, and it gives you a list here of the geometry that's been found within that shapefile. So we can s select, for instance, A on Y. And you'll see now that that point has been plotted on the map. If we zoom out, hopefully we'll see that that point is in the middle of A on Y. Let's try a different shapefile now. Let's try the VC42 Rivers shapefile. Again, 
the geometry is displayed to us and we can choose one. With the polylines it gives you the length of each polyline. So let's choose one of a reasonable length. So we've got one there, 1.3 kilometers. And there, that polyline has been plotted on the map for us. Finally, let's choose a polygon. So triple SI biz. So these are all the triple SIs within the, the biz LERC. And again, we'll choose one here. With polygons, the area is displayed. So let's have a little look down and find one of a reasonable size. Okay, there's one there about two kilometers squared. So let's select that one. And again, that triple SI is displayed on the map for you to check. And again, you're good to go. You can now run your search. Well, that concludes this particular screencast. Thanks for watching. Uh, feedback is always welcome. So if you'd like to give us any feedback, please email us via info at biz.org.uk.